Howdy fella to fellows. Welcome back to the channel. So we're doing some berry content. Then we're going to do a little rich content. And then we'll go about my night. And Barry is right now, he's on live, I guess, playing PS5 or jerking off or blowing a tranny named Dave, something. You and Barry like talking about jerking off a whole lot, you know what? The fuck, that's all I did until she moved in. And the sad thing is, now that you're moved in, you won't touch me. Yeah. <laughs> Take a fucking bath. <laughs> <laughs> See what I, I deal with, guys. Bath, See what I deal with. I, I, I got two people that supposedly love me and care about me. I don't know how the older you get, your hygiene gets worse, man. I mean, I don't get it. <laughs> I mean, the older I get, the more these two just want to pick on me. Hey, I told him if you lifted his armpits up and went outside, have to stomp and be fucking knocked out. That's why I'm fucking mosquitoes with you. You know what? Ready. Fuck you. <laughs> I'll start dressing like Barry fucking Beamer. Don't tempt me. Fuck you! Let's get into this. These motherfuckers are pissing me off. Some hard work you do, he disappears. I never seen that somebody has to shit twelve times a day. You know, has to shit when work comes up. Yeah, Mister. Forty-five minutes. You spend more time on the toilet than you do anywhere else. It's only fucking time I get peace and quiet from any of you. Yeah, Rose. Exactly. Oh, Dad. What's on that, that we've never seen Barry use. It's got some kind of winch on the front of it. I mean, I don't know if it's got a cable in it, but you think he'd hook that winch up and push it around the jar. You think he'd found that shit. He's probably smart enough to fuck out two wires. Blaring and warmth is here, and it's crazy. Anybody know what you would give an old dog if it's hard to get up and down? January 20th. What kind of medicine can you get Nine? that's over the counter that can help you? Not be a pain when it gets up. It's you know, absolutely insane. The weather is. Having put down whatever. So we're charging batteries here. We got our anybody got any suggestions? To what? Charger out here, and it, it went green, so it's fully charged for our quad. Hey, we're babe. Pop it off. See the wires right there? Take it over to the next. What? If I now watch when it goes to the front, I'm gonna see the spot. Which you if I'm 61 and I have this kind of yard, well, are you gonna so leave me? There, you didn't fucking straight. If you don't put a triple charge on these batteries, <laughs> Every other month or something. What well, happened? Have any cars that drive fucking bikes? So, then you have to buy another one. <laughs> hey, babe. Barry, the last yeah, thing you need to do is buy another one of them. You only take care of the ones you fucking got now. Batteries. So we he showed his dead dog in a fucking trash batteries. can. And, and it's in one of the trash cans. Sure. It's a fucking wheelbarrow. And it was hot outside, here. and the dog had sat there so long it started to decay, and you can see the woods running in, in the bottom of the green the, the, the 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 Yeah, and he let's. He, that big old husky he's got there, I guarantee he ain't brushed that dog all year long. You know, I mean, he's for, got videos of last year, and that dog just got clumps of hair. You know he's hot here, though, man. You gotta brush along here, dog. I mean, you can't just leave out for You'll love this. He lets his cats inbreed. That's mom fuck dad, dad. dad. Says it's fucking, Barry Beamer says that. That's nature taking its course. Well, that's probably what his parents fucking did. I guarantee you they were first cousins. And that's how you end up Barry Beamer. <laughs> right. I mean, his parents, the thing about it is his family is good people. His family and him was actually there. people. His mama's Red Hat Society up there, all kinds of shit. Like she was a so fucking school board gone. member, a principal. I mean, well, but this is what happens when you don't, I mean, kid don't have to work for that. I worry about it mom gives you everything under the sun. From a house to everything he's got. His mom buys the property. He's never had to make his own way. Anytime he's been in trouble, his mom built him out. I mean, damn, I do got a lot of up here. He ran to the cops, man, and fucking hit a guardrail on the car, and the cops beat him back on the quad. And he was getting ready to do some time, and his mom tried to sue, and the cops struck him charge. And it's kind of hard to do with him. His brother and sister seem to be good people, man, as far as I know. I mean, yeah. <laughs> well, you know what they say, sometimes the apple does fall yeah, far from the like, tree. He's like the eyeball, the whole like fucking bunch. You have that. Battery, so you don't worry about I mean, his dad, it. I would never be the slap house around his butt, man. You know, I believe that's John kid, Deere. Because I believe that's probably a good one. He's got a fucking ATV that's got lights and stuff. His dad, he went and the house kept being evicted, so he goes down, he's sleeping downstairs in the basement before he gets ready to work. His dad is so fed up with that air, and he beats the lights off of him. And Barry blames his dad for being dead in the fucking air. His dad, he's not fucking home. His dad has a big man. And it does have a rip coil. I mean, I don't, I don't like necessarily agree with that. I'm saying, 
Yeah, we just I, do, I don't agree with that at all. I mean, hey, so bad. I get the frustration though. There it is. What? You find Barry Beamer attractive? Behind there. I mean, you're 24. You're about you know what he likes. Actually, you're a little bit older. Maybe if I was deaf, blind, and paralyzed. You're too old for Barry Beamer. I mean, yeah. Hey, that Barry, she'll date me, but she won't date you. Damn. I'm looking better every day. Uh, that's a confident fucking booster. Yeah, when? Cool your jet's hot, Ron. So you pull start that thing, Barry. So, yesterday we were... You can do it! Pretty sure the thing Barry only uses his fucking hands for is his dick. He can do nothing else with it. <laughs> Says, you hear Barry play his dad say, hey, Ryan, turn that down, they can hear that. He says, what are you watching? Ryan says, boy. Uh, Barry says, well, turn it down, they can hear that shit. Camaro, here, my dad. Shop, one yeah. from a local junkyard. What's a porn? And we got it. fucking sick, man. I wanted another 65 Mustang in this particular one. It's not my buddy, Aaron I mean, Lindley. Throwing some, and I bought it. I didn't know yeah. Ohio was fucking and Kentucky. I couldn't mean, know. So he came back. I mean, I could see throwing a DVD then, or something or a magazine back in the day. And, 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 and cook at it while I do my, I go around my business. But sit here and be like, hey, man, check us out, son. What do you think about this? Work on it. I got it. We put a motor in and we got some other problems with it. You right fucked now. your friend on that one, buddy. But still, it's yeah, still there. Yeah, he gave you a car and you even paid him $500 on top of it. This coming year, we'll. No, think about it, man. Yep. I mean, that's probably why it's ready to get it out of here. He knew when that car was coming there, that motherfucker's never leave. Over here. King Dog. Look at that. It's summertime, dude. Look at this poor fucking dog. Did you call your name, did you? King Dog. Beautiful dog, man. Yeah, I'd throw him a piece of bologna, he'd be my best friend. That's what you're fucking wrong, Barry. You go out there with a pack of hot dogs, you can make pictures of any of them fucking dogs. Over here, we got 91 LX. When I was young, that's how we used to do it to chuck our dogs. We used to come to the fence and feed them hot dogs for a week straight, and by the end of that week, this is the best buddy. That's not how you spell ball, you fucking idiot. That's the car you got. Fucking crank swap or the engine swap. Right there is when that car came there, man. That was a nice little Mustang. Clean. And we got our F100 flatbed. I believe it was a short bed for the truck. And that's what I mean. He's got a truck like that. That's actually more stuff. And that came around lately, too. I bought that for a song. Bye, back. Beat somebody up, you can't even across the fucking yard without being on red. I wanted another LTD. I had a 71 just out of high school. And, uh, a friend of mine named Barry Barnes had a 71 LTD and I wanted it. And I traded to a go kart for it. <laughs> I bought the go kart for my, fun, my friend Rondo. How you doing, Piggy? Sorry, you guys. I was doing with my great boy. Yeah, he's a little better. Still got a little knot there, man. He's got a bunch of great kids. Boys are going to have to do it. 69 LTD 390 for it. Yeah. T6 automatic, and it's got a. You never heard about six grandkids until. Or 60. I started on the dash. 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 I started on Exactly. Oh, Which one you build it for him? You see how that trunk's set on that car? Yeah. Man, that car's fucked. What do you think, baby? Is that a six-figure car? Why would you ever show us the trunk of that car? Why would you ever show us what the trunk looks like, buddy? I mean, you brag about everything else off, but you've never shown the trunk of that car. He thinks that car's a six-figure car. A super rare option for these. Super rare option for a road runner, huh? I bet I can find five of them right now. I don't think so, but there's like five of them that have that exact fucking hood on fuck Facebook Marketplace. Because the Roadrunner was we never got a Roadrunner. from a guy that owned some. I know that for a fact. Jack. And it's still sitting there. 
I'm in 2030. 2030. Hey, babe. That's that's how long it's gonna be. He thinks that. I'm gonna roll back. Here's pretty cool. Police cruiser. Yeah, if it was brand fucking new, maybe. Well, it's been even restored. Dodge 88. That car can't be restored. I mean, it could, but it would, it would take too much money. It's a base car. Nobody would ever restore that Mustang. Nope. Part of the and I don't really even know what park you use on. Uh, uh, damn it, Jack. Don't you fucking know what, what you want to put on? Don't you fucking know what you want to put on? Oh, shit, it is. Yeah. Of course, I keep talking about this car. The 76 Coupe de Ville. Ain't that a pretty car, man? Like I think a lot of these cars, you've got a rear from the cops in, and maybe got away, so we stashed it. You know, already hit somebody, wrecked in it, and then took it and stashed it. Yep. 50,000 original miles, one owner. It was wrecked. We bought it out of the salvage yard with a So get this. Title. His mom not only bought him a house for thirty-one thousand dollars, carried insurance on it. She also raised his disabled son since he was a kid. She raised him. Then, when she bought him the place, she had to have all them vehicles towed there. Paid for all of it. Paid for all of it. Some kind of. So about Yeah, he he wears that like a badge on it. Replaces. Most of the cars that he's got, Ryan bought him. He's yeah. disabled son bought him on cars. He thinks that is something. He, the only time he's ever talked about his son is when he, and says he's a good kid or he's a good boy is when he gets followed by, he bought me this, gave me this, and done this for me. And so the other day, he finally bought him a truck. And he only did that because of this shit. I just said. In four years, he gave him a hat. That's it. Guys, watch this. They're all, they're all going to assist for a minute. Watch this when he walks over his fucking cornet. Rough. That car is junk. Oh, yes, Break the trim off of it because he's too fucking lazy to pull a bolt out the back. Now watch. Watch, babe. This car is worth a lot of money. That's probably a fucking seventeen thousand dollar car. Barry Beer and Matt, that's fucking fifty thousand dollars. Look, 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 look. Look, that's Bondo. Holy shit! I didn't know that. Skim a Bondo. I've never seen a skim coat come off like that. Yeah, yeah, we'll just there throw it in the yard. That's what happens, bud, when you put bond over rust, Rich. You see that? When you put filler over rust, dumb man? I love that. Fuck okay, it, we'll hit it with a lawnmower later. Hell, how does the lawnmower don't fucking run? <laughs> Dude, he's on that lawnmower cut grass, on a riding mower cut grass taller than him. I mean, he takes like the brush off. I mean, he's about your height. It's a pretty cool car. Got a little wild on it, too. No miles on it. That's a little mile car, guys. You can own it now for twenty nine ninety five. Today nope. only. Twenty nine ninety five. No questions no asked, and the Bondo is free. Hey, we'll before we throw in the ratchet uh, <laughs> and the fucking <laughs> stick skins. Right this thing gets second gear rubber. It's like it's like a little two barrel three. I'll gear. explain later. It runs and stops. And there's Oops. an old sixty five Plymouth. Hey, what, what we found the. Uh, that, that, that car right oh, there, Mary Beaver told me today only, oh, man, thirty nine ninety five, and he'll torch cut the fucking rear corners like he did well, to interfere. Well, we yeah. failed to mention about the coronet with that price that Dad just gave you. Barry's gonna get some flex tape out, and he's gonna flex well, tape that his, Bondo. That's his best fucking he's gonna flex tape, tape that big old patch of Bondo back on it, and then he's gonna paint it green. You'll never no, know no, it's if there. If he does that, it's gonna be thirty nine ninety five. <laughs> today only. Only, folks. And if he puts five dollars in the tank, folks, it's an extra five dollars. <laughs> I talked to him earlier. He told me to sell all these cars for him quick. Because he's stacking them deep and selling them cheap. <laughs> Cat shit. Included. Hey Barry, one of my buddies. He's out about the Corvette above. He's got a loader. We can bring it over. <laughs> Beaver says everybody buys a car and gets a fucking dead kit. <laughs> Every car he sells today, he's giving away with them dead kittens right there. Or a fucking dead dog to get him a Buy two cars, he'll dig the dog up for you. <laughs> and folks, if you don't call before you come, he's going to come up with that red rider. <laughs> cha-ching, cha-ching, ping, ping, ping. He's only going to 
one dumb fucking convicted felon I know that walks and touches a shotgun with his bare hands <laughs> unattended and ain't in jail yet. I mean, on fucking video, plain as fucking day. I mean, <laughs> I tell you what, you folks. Keep every fucking gun around here locked under lock and fucking. Yeah, gun. I do. <laughs> but this psychopath motherfucker has a shotgun that he just is all willy nilly with. Well, that and I got, that and we got to get around now, so I can't just leave him willy nilly. <laughs> And folks, well, they're they probably fucking lead, and they don't want to put a hate crime for the disabled. He's one motherfucker don't need a shot. He don't need a gun. He is nuts. This motherfucker's so, insane. Hey, folks, the black Cadillac, the Jimmy Hoffa Cadillac. What we forgot to tell you guys is, if you come right now with sixty-five thousand dollars cash money, people not only sign the headrest and seat, he'll give you an autographed T-shirt, a Beamer and Sons garage hat, and he'll eat your ass. And he'll throw in the Red Rider BBW for free. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't knock him down on the price, he'll give you an hour of rhyme. <laughs> uh, Please tell me I'm already to see you before that hour mouth, starts. Man. Uh, Dad, I don't think I signed up for that one, Dad. <laughs> no you? safe word. An hour alone, no safe word. So Bubba Gun ain't gonna make a stop. <laughs> He said, will you at least, will you at least buy him dinner he first? Says, <laughs> he says that great boy of mine, he's talking from experience. He knows what he's talking about. Well, now he's like me. He don't got no teeth in his head, so maybe a good gum job is good for everybody. <laughs> Pretty cool old car. He said to Velma Rub, pay cash money, got this cool an hour to the ride. Hardwood scoop. Velma Rub. Please tell me I'm at least a seat seal. before the hour long that starts. I don't think that. anyone will want to remember it. That's not hardwood, you fucking idiot. Hard is H A R D. I'm fucking illiterate, and I know that. Hardwood. And it was running and driving. I got it running. I Went back in 19 fucking 52. <laughs> That's what I mean. This dude puts oh, these so much hard. He'll go around and put tires on his on cars, windshield wiper blades on them. Yeah, they some of the cars in the side yard. And hey, Barry, if the fucking brakes stuck, you can't one. drive them back. <laughs> <laughs> And she hasn't seen the Mach 9 yet, buddy. Yeah, one more thing, he can't move it. The Jeep chair falls. He can't move it. He's got to move it. He's going to make that career on the road one day. One or two sprint. Let me guess. That's a parts car, too, Barry. Also, check out our friends, Jedediah Scott. Hey, you guys, I got a question. I'm going to ask my girlfriend a question, okay? You ready for this? Babe, when you add an S onto something, like we add an S onto your name, what's that make it? Lacey's? Yeah. What well, does S on the end of something makes make it? Plural. it? Makes it plural, right? Yeah. Well, his <laughs> dad. Yeah. He's so worried about. He, he's so insane that he thinks like you can't make a, a car like another General Lee or another Eleanor from from Gone Six Seconds. Sixty Seconds. If you make a clone car, the, the fucking movie companies are come after you. So everybody that drives a General Lee, there's three of them in Terre Haute, but that <laughs> motherfucker must be in the Paramount for millions of dollars. So he puts an S on his car. Yeah. He'll, he'll put it's one said, car. Elmer, be El Norris. <laughs> and he openly talks about this psychopath, ignorant fuck. Well, it's not uh, Eleanor because they're going to come after me <laughs> and they'll, they'll want their royalties. You're a moron. Dude. It's Eleanor's. I mean. Feels like it's Christine's. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, that's it. That's it. You're, you caught him real quick. I mean, that's, that's him. I mean, he's nuts. I mean, the dude's touched. I mean. By that grandpa, by Uncle touched. Bob, by Cousin Tom. I mean, believe me, he's been touched. <laughs> Aunt Mom and Uncle Dad. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to talk shit about his parents. Either. I mean, his, his parents are decent people. Mm. Hard-working, blue-collar people. That, they, that's what built America. I don't know what the fuck happened to Barry. He's not their kid. No, he's, he, he belongs in a dumpster. Dad. I mean, Listen, but I don't want to say there's that There's a reason certain I people... Say that. I apologize for saying that because I'd be... Nothing, I'd be just like Barry if I said that because I'd be saying something negative about his mom and I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I did I, say that. I apologize for that. Uh, I'm not saying that. I believe he's found a fucking upstairs and dad brought him home. There you go. He's adopted. That's what it is. He's adopted. Listen, like my stepdad always said, sometimes you just can't fucking fix stupid no matter how much fucking flex tape you got. Right? That's what our buddy up in Indy that we built a white Ford truck for him. That we don't know what we're doing, but we built a 650 fucking horse truck for that dude. Anyway, fucking, that's what he said. He said, you just can't fix stupid guys. I mean, you just can't.
fish. You can't you can't reason with stupid. You can't fish stupid. So you deal with stupid like we're dealing with stupid. By mocking them. Okay. Without the rest of the information. Is it All technically right. mocking them if they already make themselves nope. look dumb? It's, it's <laughs> called reviewing their channel, pointing out their misinformation in their lives. That's All right, right you guys. It. We're going to move on to the next one, okay? Be right back. We opened up the playpen. <laughs> we took out the baby maker and opened up the playpen. Yeah. Twenty. I couldn't stand the stink in there if I went to his lobby or his apartment. You know what I mean? Them guys are nasty. You know that, right? Them oh, black yeah. people don't take a bath. Oh my God. They got these. They get these what they call ring worms in their head. Oh my God. Yeah. And the talk about lice oh my god and the women are just as they oh god no i was like what the oh they stink that bad oh and their clothes are probably all just ugh you know oh my god yeah i had one of them Is that why Ryan don't have a mom around? Them. I didn't do anything to them. I know, but the language. Any time, boy! Any time! Come on, Dan, let's go! This is in the 70s, Dan. Scared me! Hey, it takes a bigger man to walk away. He's got his camera off! <laughs> kind of weird you want to fuck a 25 year old. Watch your mouth. Come the fuck on, around. motherfucker! Sir, go on, please. Please, Dad, come on, let's go. I'm not going anywhere. Come on, Dad, come on. You come to my show? You run your goddamn cocksuckers? Yeah, you, motherfucker! <laughs> Please, Dad. Come on, Dad. There's some dead heat. Come on, Dad. I'm not him. I didn't do anything to him. I know, but the language. Any time, boy. Any time. Come on, Dad. Let's go. This is in the 70s, Dad. Coward. 